Hey, I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Resource Moment in History. And on March 22, 1922, on this location, a huge explosion rocked downtown Port Huron. For at 2.30 p.m. on a quiet Sunday afternoon, the Port Huron Sarnia Ferry Company's steam ferry Omar Conger exploded, leaving four dead and countless injured. The Omar Conger was built in 1882 for James Moffat and D.N. Reynolds, who at the time were the proprietors of the ferry line that ran between Port Huron and Sarnia. Now, while the boat was nearly 40 years old, not much of the original boat remained at the time of the explosion. For 1904, a new boiler was installed in the Conger. In 1921, $10,000 were spent on new decks, handrails, and once again, a complete overhauling of the engine. At the time of the explosion, it was reported that the boiler of the Conger flew over the Immigration and Customs Building, landing on a frame house on the west side of Quay Street, completely demolishing the home, bursting it into flames. The Conger sank directly to the bottom of the Black River at the time of the explosion. The only thing that remained were the upper decks breaking the surface of the water. The force of the explosion also shattered nearby windows and shops, tore telegraph lines and poles from the ground. Boyce Hardware, Metagert's, and Knox Dry Goods were in the line of the destruction as the explosion flew southward. As the boat sat ready to depart at 3 p.m., the sound of a large cannon was reported by those who were nearby the incident. A fully loaded ferry, Sheboygan, was just entering the Black River when the explosion occurred. It was less than 100 feet from the site, almost causing great damage to it as well. Further reports of the damage flooded in the local newspapers, including one of a funeral service that was being held more than 700 feet away at the Falks Chapel. During the service, a piece of the Congress radiator crashed through the side of the building, injuring mourners and visitors as well. For Moment in History Extra, hey, I'm Chris Troy, reminding you that history lives in all of us.